Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about something Disney related. Whether it's their theme parks, films, programs, or whatever you can think of that's somehow related to Disney in one way or another. So I just thought I'd do this again because why not? So, um, I guess, kind of think of it, the, the film, uh, Space Jam, a, a New Legacy. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are talking about it, so this got me thinking. And yeah, yeah it's, it's not really being well received, like, like, at all. I mean, some people are defending it, but I guess you can say, for the most part, it's, yeah, just, doesn't, yeah, doing, doing pretty bad, the ratings, so... That's, that's not a good sign. I've not seen it, but that's pretty, usually because of the fact I didn't like. I didn't even like the first one, like at all. So maybe one of these days I'll watch it. I don't know. It feel like it. Yeah, but this just goes on to the kind of the thing I've been complaining about for quite some time: nostalgia. Just making money on nostalgia, and that's it, really. When I think about it, so kind of remind me of what the Cinderella remake that Disney did, even though it was already already remade. So it's remade twice. Come on, Disney, that's just flat out lazy. And I mean, granted, they really made some bad sequels too, like for example, Cinderella 2, The Dreams Come True, which honestly is still one of the most garbage sequels they ever made. And for the Beauty Beast remake, it's just boring. Even the original got a couple of sequels for some reason. And I know I'm complaining, but it won't be a Kittle Rundown video if I don't bitch about something, I guess. But, yeah, there's even the remake for Aladdin, which I really didn't like. Yes, the original got two sequels as well. Those they were pretty bad. And, um, yeah, the Dumbo remake was also was pretty boring. And in, thankfully, the original got any sequels. The Jungle Boy wasn't very good either, but, and yeah, the, you got, the original got a sequel, which also wasn't very good either. So, even Mulan was rather soulless, along with the sequel to make the original, which was okay on a good day, I guess. Boy. But yeah, just the remake for Lion King, which was bad. I know the original got a few sequels on a TV series, or at least a few TV series, you know, or whatever. And then, the, it was not good. But then, Alice in Wonderland, the, the Tim Burns version was pretty bad, if you ask me. Get a sequel was also really bad. And this was kind of odd to me, because the original never got a sequel, like, at all, because it bombed. The Late in Trap remake was also trash. I mean, okay, the sequel to the original was also pretty awful as well. So, this just comes up, it's just, it's just for nostalgia, it's like, that's it, and nothing more. I remember Walt Disney saying that he believed in being an inventor and whatnot. Um, so what happened to that? What happened to that spirit? Creating new ideas for concepts, for stories and whatnot, going on this grand adventure. Yeah, I missed that. Daring to create brand new storylines and whatnot. It just seems for the past, what, few years? They would just remake, 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 remake after remake after remake after oh, remake. Jeez, and then more remakes and more of them. Come on, and um, just cash grab a nostalgia. And uh, come on, uh, now this just it is if you ask me. I mean, okay, okay. To be fair, Disney was not the only company that had done this, like at all. It's not the only company. I was guilty of doing the same kind of a thing. I know plenty of other people had uh, done this kind of a thing. And yeah. Like for an example. Yeah, there's been plenty of other movies. Uh, basically trying to cast grab. A uh, nostalgia. And something that's already been previously established. And just trying to make money as much money as can be possible and whatnot. And yes, don't get me wrong. I, I understand that this is a business. Whether, whether you want to accept it or not, the movie industry is a business. And, uh, yeah. Don't be thinking that this video is like some sort of rant on capitalism, which oh. it isn't. 
I'm just talking about just the sheer laziness of it all. If anything, just this entire thing just comes off pointless. Like a lot of fair makers just don't want to want to try no more. Money. I don't know. I mean, I guess how to blame the customers in some ways too, but because they keep buying it. A lot of these movies that brought up, at least the remakes anyway, uh, are quite successful. They made a lot of money. So, like the one thing I, I, I've often said before, vote with your dollar. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something that I still believe in. Your money does count. Even though it, nowadays it may seem like it, it may not, I guess. But yeah, I would definitely say vote with your dollar. And people still complain. And people will go on and complain that Disney are making terrible remakes. Yet they keep buying them. You keep buying them on DVD or whatever, and seeing them in theaters. And from what I heard, they want to do a live action reboot of Tangled, which is ridiculous when you think about it. And that movie already has a TV series. Because originally it was going to have a sequel. I mean, as in a, a movie sequel, but they just ditched that and made a TV show instead. Right. And honestly, I think the TV show was needless. I mean, okay, it's not the worst thing I've seen, I will be honest with you. But the Tango TV series was still not needed, really. It didn't add, or, uh, yeah, it really didn't add anything to what was already done in the film. If anything, in some ways, it actually contradicts it uh, uh, to some extent. So, if anything, it kind of backfires when you think about it. So, uh, it, it wasn't really worth a watch, really, like a lot of the movies, like the vast majority of these movies that I, I just watch, I just mentioned. I mean, you can watch somebody just make fun of it, I guess, if you want to do that. Really? But yeah, just, uh, yeah. No, just come on, give me a break here. But yeah, it just comes off like a lot of people just want to see something on a big screen. A lot of the movies that I've mentioned, people have seen it when they were much younger. Maybe in their, maybe in their early te teens, or maybe younger than that. Uh, maybe somewhere in the late teens, or maybe early 20s. And now these films are being remade, and a good, a good chunk of these people who saw these films when they were much younger now have families, now they have their own kids, maybe some of their kids are in middle school or something at this point, and they just want them to experience what they experience. And, um, yeah, it's a tactic that Disney's doing, I guess you would say. It's just some, some sort of strategy just to make a uh, quick buck nostalgia. And again, like I said a moment ago, I know Disney's not the only one that's Guilty of doing this, uh, this kind of a thing. I know that, so I don't be thinking I'm attacking Disney. I like Disney, okay? I, I really do like the company. But uh, that's not gonna stop me from criticizing them, of course. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I mean, look, uh, despite all this, despite whatever else I might say in this video, or any other video, I still like Disney, and I still would support them. Uh, maybe not with every movie, I guess, but still, I would do it one way or another, I guess you can say. But yeah. I just thought this is just a ridiculous notion that this keeps going and going and going like like for this matter. Oh boy, give me a break. Then I guess you can say the same thing with the Star Wars sequel trilogy that has a lot of nostalgia attached to it. I mean, to be fair, like the prequel trilogy didn't do that. So yeah, and yeah, for the new series of films, the overall idea is the same, but some of the details have been worked. I guess. Or I would say reworked for the cinematic universe that they're trying to build upon. But my point still stands, of course. But yeah, just something I want to point this out. Now Disney keeps doing this and whatnot. Ugh. Like I said earlier, I mean, yes, people had criticized Disney for doing the same thing. Just banking on nostalgia and nothing else. But here's the real part. The people who criticized them for doing that, it don't make no sense either. Because when they actually make the effort to actually try to do something, or I should say attempt to do something that's different compared to what was done previously, it largely gets ignored by the, the vast majority of the audiences and whatnot, which I just uh, I find to be rather bizarre. It strikes me as weird, you know, because uh, people say, oh, do something new, do something new, do something new, Disney, yada, yada, yada. But when they do, they just push out to a side. Ugh. Sure, movies like The Prince and the Frog wasn't exactly, you know, all that great, really. But at least they tried to, to do some difference. 
there's, a, there's, an, there's, there's an attempt at it, I guess you can say. So, yeah, again, just find it rather bizarre that people are acting such a way. I don't know anymore. I mean, I guess it could, it could, they could attempt at it again one of these days. Maybe. I don't know. It seems weird to me if you ask me, folks. Ugh. Of course, Frozen, the first one, became one of, one of the biggest hits of all time for the company. And that's great. And that film did do something different. Trying to change up the formula while keeping some of the tropes and whatnot. That didn't stop a certain, okay, a lot of religious not folks, nut jobs, from claiming that the film is going to destroy society because of lesbianism and because of the fact that it's promoting women to be strong. What? Someone gets offended by the fact that support women, gays, and Disney. Well, not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah. Anymore. And I know Kevin Swanson's stupid ass will be pretty much like, Well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. Well, so bring it, bitch. But anyway, this goes into what I was saying and whatnot. There's two other genres as well, like sci-fi being remade. Come on. But, of course, there's some good sequels like Frozen 2, which also, you know, expanded the story like a good sequel. Should I, and uh, you put a much raise the stakes and whatnot. But, of course, that didn't stop people from complaining, because apparently the film has some sort of um, white feminism thing going on, at least, um, kind of counter that, because I, apparently the first movie had some white feminism, and then the sequel was trying to counter that, somehow, which, what, that's, that's not the case, I actually did a video on this, uh, a little while back already, so I'm not gonna repeat too much what I, I've, what I've already said, but yeah, this was actually a thing, when the film came out, I, I don't get it. It makes no sense. And I keep saying that they're taking Norwegian. They're not, they're not trying to act as if they're better than other feminists from uh, different countries. You know, when it comes to some people having the lack of privilege or whatever else you can think of. That's not what the movie's trying to make a comment on. Like, at all. Oh, yeah, boy. And, um... Kind of reminds me in some extent, what I'm talking about is kind of does kind of remind me of the fact with the horror genre as well. Because there's been a massive amount of horror remakes and more remakes and more remakes that's been coming out over the years and still pumping out like a crazy absurd amount and whatnot. And yeah, they're all terrible. Every single one of them, they're all garbage. Even remaking in foreign films. Are you serious? Or, or existing American movies and whatnot, and come on, really, it's just flat out lazy. It's going to do the whole nostalgia and whatnot, what I was saying a moment ago. Either way, whatever explanation you want to give it, it's just nostalgia or just flat out laziness. Yeah, that seems more like it, just flat out laziness. Like, they don't want to, get, you know, do anything new. I'm, yes, Hollywood has criticized for this. Well, it's still, oh, it's still, oh, those people who criticize Hollywood, yeah, th when they actually try to do something different, or other companies trying to do something different, uh, like the Blood movie, the original one, it fades into obscurity. What? The people who criticize Hollywood won't buy the new stuff, but they'll just go on something that's familiar instead. Oh, boy. It's just, it makes no sense. Again, not making any sense whatsoever, like, at all. But I just find, I just find it weird. He reacts, man. Would criticize the new current Godzilla films for recycling the same stuff over and over again. But when the franchise actually does attempt to try something different, it, it, it bombs. Like this one, for example. It tries to be very different. And nobody really saw that at all. Or other kaiju films that try to be something more different. And if I uh, really have a strong story, they don't bring it up that often. The Gamma Trilogy was, of course, rightly acclaimed, sure, but I don't see the American audiences really bringing it up all that much, really. I'm gonna stick with the bastard versions of the old Gamma films, and nothing else matters. I mean, okay, granted, they do the exact same thing with the old Godzilla films, but stick with the bastard versions, and, and nothing else, really. I realize a lot of these films have already had previous the established franchises that got rebooted for whatever stupid reason. And a lot of the time it's just based on nostalgia. Again, 
This goes for a lot of these directors in Hollywood and whatnot. Even though you can, I can argue that none of these I ever called for, like at all. And as far as I'm concerned, then none of these movies are needed. Why can't you just do a sequel instead to the original one? I'll just leave it alone entirely. And uh, but yeah, I just I just don't get this like at all. It's just to be left alone. And uh, but yeah, I guess uh, I guess it's just gonna add a few more things before I just. Uh, in this video, which I'm about to, I'm about to just wrap things up, I guess, just finish with this video, because this is pretty lengthy as it is, I do appreciate it, anybody for watching, but, yeah, it just seemed like Hollywood, I guess, I guess, I was saying earlier, you can blame the audiences, as well, for watching these, for supporting these, I guess you would say, whether it's the uh, direct-to-video release, or maybe, or whatever else, however method they will release it, like in a TV program, or, uh, or, of course, all of these were uh, officially released in the movie theaters, of course. Point being is that the audiences are going to support this because they had fond memories of these movies and whatnot. And they wanted to really relive these memories they had, like, ages ago and just experience it once again. And I guess I'm trying to feel better, uh, I guess. Of, of a, and we might be reminded of a, of a long period of time ago, I guess. And, uh, this kind of usually go against the business, because things can get rather stale. Which has happened, and will continue to happen. It's just making things get really, really stale. And why not just basically doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, boy. Yeah, kind of go against the thing. And, yeah. So, Beauty Beast... It should have been left alone. Like the other princess movies that got rebooted, it should have been all left alone. And, um, so when the Disney princess movies, like I was saying, even when they try to do something new, he was still complaining. Oh, boy. Yeah, so yeah, like I just said, even when the Disney princess movies attempt to do something brand new, people still complain. Frozen 2 trying to do something new, like, like, we, like I was saying, and people still complained anyway. Nonetheless. <laughs> Uh damn if you do, damn if you don't. Just, just dumb. You can't win. You can't win this pe with these people, like at all. Ugh. Crying out loud. I don't know anymore. It just seems stupid to me, if you ask me. Then there will be people who would say that the Star Wars sequel trilogy has some sort of political agenda from liberals, as if there's an attack at some political party. Are you kidding me? But yeah, just, well, people, just, I don't know, what's going on here, I don't get it. Just this kind of attitude makes no sense, like, whatsoever, just, I don't know. I guess just to wrap things up, I guess, it's just, and, uh, I kind of wish, you know, Disney would, as far as I'm concerned, Disney is only remaking these movies just because they were criticized for being sexist, for being racist, and whatnot, and a bunch of other accusation like for being so for supporting uh nazism or i'm being anti-semitic and all that all of, all of all of course of course all of which aren't true they're not none of that's true whatsoever at all because it, it's just people are just being on rumors and nothing more but it doesn't exactly help that disney are remaking these princess movies and the other movies just to um just to fix a non-existent problem so, if I have to criticize Disney for anything, it would be that. Stop kissing their ass. Ah. That's not how it works. You don't you don't fight against bigotry by playing right into it. At all. Not that I'm trying to suggest that Disney's being bigoted or anything. Not, I'm not saying that. I'm just, it doesn't, the way they're approaching things, it just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, of course, as always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah. Later.